So I've been busy preparing for the instrument writing check ride, and one of the questions that I anticipate in the oral portion of the check ride is about wind shear. I think the examiner might ask me four things about wind shear. Firstly, he'll probably ask, what is wind shear? He might ask me, secondly, if I can think of an accident caused by wind shear, which there are many. Thirdly, he'll probably ask me, how would I know if I'm experiencing wind shear? And lastly, what would I do in that event? I'm going to try to explain these as best I can so that when I'm in the check ride, I'll know exactly what to say and I won't stumble or hesitate. By definition, wind shear is a change in wind speed or direction over a relatively short distance in the atmosphere. In aviation, when we think of wind shear accidents, we think of a sharp gain or loss of air speed at low altitude. Usually, this is when we're landing. According to Wikipedia, between 1964 and 1985, wind shear directly caused or contributed to 26 major civil transport aircraft accidents in the U.S. One of the most widely known wind shear accidents was Delta Airlines Flight 191 involving an L-1011 TriStar on August 7, 1985, which happened when the pilots encountered a microburst a mile short of the runway in Dallas. There were 137 fatalities and 27 survivors. How will I know if I have wind shear? Anytime I'm in IMC conditions, I'm going to be doing my constant scan, my instrument cross-check, and especially keeping a close eye on my airspeed indicator, my altimeter, and my VSI. Signs of wind shear might be a rapid plus or minus 15 knot airspeed indication change, a plus or minus 500 foot per minute rate of climb change, plus or minus 5 degree or more pitch change, plus or minus one dot deflection of the glide slope if you're using the ILS, or an unusually high or low throttle to power setting to maintain normal approach speed. Of course, my goal will always be to not fly in a situation where there might be a thunderstorm cell or wind shear. But if I encounter wind shear, my primary goal is going to be to maintain positive control above the stall speed of my aircraft. If I'm going to go around and I hear the stall warning horn, I will lower pitch enough to silence the horn. If necessary, I will go around and either wait out the wind shear or land at another airport where the winds are calmer.